Hi guys. Today we're going to talk about the wizard. Yeah. Hmm? <laughs> I got the bag. I got the bag. Hi. And uh, welcome to Love Forge. Today we are going to talk about the wizard. Of mate. Or the mentalist. Or the sorcerer. Or the elementalist. The warlock. Or the archmage. The necromancer. The acolyte. The... Oh. The priest. The priest is not a wizard. He's a magic user, isn't he? Well, true that, but he's not really a mage, you know. Well, he's not your typical mage, but he is a kind of mage. Yeah, okay, well... Well, never mind. We're going to talk about mage. Yes. The most uh, typical magical user you will ever see in a live, live action roleplay. Yeah. And we're also going to take a look in his bag. Oh yeah, the bag of goodies. Yeah, but that, that's for later. Now we're going to talk... Uh, let, let's talk a little bit more about the wizard or the mage. Yeah. What does he look like? Yeah, well... He's typically, you know, the, the traditional, gen, the general wizard, the traditional old guy with the long beard or... The pointy hat. The point, yeah, the pointy hat and... And the rope. The rope, of course, the rope. But he's the old, uh, well, he's the sort of scientific magic user. He's the guy who do, does experiments. He's the guy who sitting there and writing his hat in his little magical journal or magic spellbook. the arcane magic of this world, the old magic. Yeah. The foundation, the building blocks how this world was created in the first place, manipulating into all kinds of power. The only way he can... Re the only way he can destroy everyone else. Well, yeah. <laughs> we love mages. We like mages. I like played them. them a lot, Hank. Yeah. Mages is a funny thing, but... There's one thing that set, sets a mage a, a bit apart from different roles. Because when you play a mage in a live action roleplay, they are usually the most rule heavy uh, of the old characters you can be. Especially if you divide it into classes. And every system out there has their own vision of how uh, a magical rule set should be like. What it should be like. How the spells are going to unfold. How you progress in these spells. How you obtain new ones. Yes. And we of course, of course also have well our version of it. And it's like... Well, we have tried to narrow our version down to three basic principles instead of the rules. Yeah, like number one... Uh, magic, it needs to be practical. Number two? It needs to be easy to see, yes. Number three? It needs to be easy for a non-magical user to react upon. Basically, you can see the fireball, you can feel the fireball, and you can react on the fireball. We're not going to come into any of this, because spells and magic... And how it's supposed to be used in live action roleplay is a really heavy topic. And an episode in itself, a couple of episodes in itself. But our wizard is based on these principles. Yeah, and another thing about wizard is like with this, uh, wizards is very much showmanship. Yeah, it, it's it's you have to see the magic to believe the magic. In yeah, some ways. So, so being a wizard is also very much about convincing other people that <coughs> you're not just throwing rice or flour or anything at them. It, you're actually making and conjuring up a fireball of the powers of the deep nine hells or whatever it is you're doing. But yeah. <clears throat> but let's have a look at the bag. What's this? <gasps> it's a canvas scroll and it's blank. Well, this will be will be nice in some time, I think. It's probably for a ritual or something he's planning out. It's probably the same. Yeah. Okay, but um, but did you want to open it? Can I open it? Oh, sure. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Have you so no magical traps? No, oh, just some gold coins. Oh, what? What? I got to open it first. I get the loot. Oh, I haven't seen these things for years. What is? It's not just like it's liquor. Well, you could say it's kind of. But you use it like by the holy matter of incantations. What the heck just? Well, uh, 
this was some powder for to make it <laughs> squish up. Okay, so so it's like you were just charging the potion. I, I kind of made it into a soda really, really fast. Oh well, okay, um, but that's that's actually pretty neat for a magical effect. Like if you were magic using, you were charging a potion or water or something with magic. Could be really neat for that. And it tastes like jam. Anyway, what's what else in here? Uh, oh. Uh. oh yeah, that that the, one. The spell book. All his notes and everything. Oh oh, what's that? Oh, I know this. Oh one. yeah, this is this is a pretty good example again of that wizards are uh, kind of like an effect character and sh about all about showmanship. This is fire powder. And. You take this and then you just like, I summon the flame from the sun. Mighty impressive, young one. This is the flame of a supernova. Whoa, shit! Do you still have eyebrows? Yeah, I think so. Okay, well. But it's a really nice thing to use because it makes it poof and makes everyone go, what happened? Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, but let, let's move on to. Oh, a candle. Hmm. Well,. Many wizards go around with candle. Again, really, really good for the for the, the rituals and the atmosphere about that being a wizard and everything. What else? What else? Oh yeah, these. Oh yeah, these. Yeah. This is all about being practical. Yeah, this is a uh, hex bags or magical. What's it called magical pouches, magical bags, magic missiles, fireballs. They have many names. Yeah. But this is a way to show the practical uses of magic, like a fireball, for example, because this is not a real fireball, but you can make it red and you can give it a large red tail or something, but yeah. it, you can see that as the other player. When you start as a mage on summoning, you can see, oh, he's summoning something. The dark powers are conveying me. Get into this bag and lighten up. Make this a fireball. And then you throw it. And then you say, like, fireball. Fall damage or something like that yeah. in some systems. Yeah, but that, that's again about uh, something around, about spells. But these here are actually, I think these spell packages, I think yeah, that spell packages, they are really neat because you could take these out and they still work kind of in game. They don't look out of game, so to speak. They, actually, they look I, I like the rune idea, but I also like when they are in a bright color because it's more easier for you as the player which are getting hit by the magic to see oh something uh, magical is going to happen to me then i better listen up yeah because yeah in the role play you you get a lot of stuff in neutral colors thrown at you in some in some point yeah because these are brown and uh, beige color so again it's just about making magic practical especially something like magic arrows fireball Oh, the last things. Ah, that's now we get get are getting into the good stuff. Oh yeah, this this is really this is really old school playing a wizard or mage. Flower for drawing up your um, conjuring's uh, ritual circles and showing uh, the invisible wall, yeah. so the players can see it. Well, that's actually for of all of this. It's like this is for indicating when doing rituals or magic or something. Even and spell spell casting, uh, yeah, and and red, red colored rice for magical rain, fire rain. Yeah, and blue rice and yellow rice and green rice, all for different kind of spells and combinations and whatever you like to do. And because this is colored, it makes it kind of look otherworldly and kind uh, of uh, ma ha magical. Yeah, it has it's supposed to be magical. Even the the, the flower can be colored. This is just white, uh, and. Of course, normally you would probably keep it in a bag to make it more mystical and more in gameish but this is to make it a lot easier to see for you guys. Yeah, like, I mean, really good advice is actually to have a lot of bags, uh, small pouches of bags on your belt with all these different types of ingredients in. So when you're going out on the battlefield or something, you can just and like totally like a utility belt, you know, like, you know what you're doing, like, I need this here for that spell and that for that spell and and also just to feel more epic when you're throwing up fireball mystical rain fireball thunder yeah. lash 
I mean, just to, to make you feel powerful. And also, when you see your foes' faces, they will go, holy crap, he's showing a lot, throwing a lot of shit at us right now. You have to remember, you're a wizard, you live with this normally. How would you keep it? Would you keep it like all like in a one bag well, we where, can... where everything is like messed up? Or would you keep it nicely organized around in your belt so all your magic ingredients don't get mixed? Both me and Martin have played a lot of mage characters or magical users anyway. Yeah, and, we, and we both had this large bag and belt pouches for different kind of uses. Yeah, and it, there's another advice uh, just before we end. Remember to, this is actually playing a mage is actually kind of hard for your back. So the, the cane, uh, the wizard star, it's, it's not like Gandalf says, it's an old man's walking stick. It's not only for show off, it can actually be nice to have. It's that. practical also. <laughs> because you're wearing so much shit <laughs> around on your belt and in your bag. That's actually kind of hard to walk. Yeah. <sighs> so, but what else can we say about the mates other than oh, any magic users? If you like uh, some a, a challenge, because it is a challenge, uh, and like some rule, more rule heavy and star, stuff, where you really have to go deep into your character to convince the other characters out there that you are a mage, then play a mage. Yeah, and it, again, all these different things. Mage is about showmanship. It's about showing and making magical believable. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it, it's it's really uh, that's that's one reason I like playing it's, a mage. It's so you have so many things to play with and so many ma so many yeah. things to do. Actually, I I, I really think you're never bored uh, as a mage. If you're bored, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because a mage can always find something to do. And one of the more inciting fa things about being a mage is that even if you do nothing, games tend to come to you in yeah. some way well, because. Everyone wants you to do something like well, every resurrect your dead fiance and something <laughs> stupid like that. Well, you know, everybody needs a mate at some point. It wakes up. Yeah. So, uh, but uh, bye bye for this time. Yeah. So, like, see you. By the way, play a necromancer. Tre. Nu. Det er fint.